G'day all, it's Colin from PCTLC and thanks for joining me. In this video, I want to discuss the live desktop changes of MX21, uh, especially this time the KDE version. I've spent many times installing MX21, mainly XFCE version, that's their flagship. I've uh, tested them out, done installs, um, tested the live desktop changes on XFCE and they work quite well and anything that you install is is there post install and any changes you'd made um, during the install and you check off the uh, save desktop changes um, no matter what you'd changed it was um, it was completed and it looked exactly the same after installing and on your first boot so I've been testing um, MX21 recently, the XFCE and the KDE version, although I never have really had a look at the saved desktop changes in the KDE version. And I thought to myself, does that work just as well as the XFCE? Because KDE is probably a little bit more complex, so to speak, as far as the difference between the desktops. So I thought I'd try that out. So just recently, and um, if you need a smile for the day, just go to DistroWatch and um, just check out this uh, smile on this monkey. <laughs> it makes me laugh. <laughs> anyway, back on track. Um, MX21 has just recently um, released the MX Linux 21 RC1, release candidate one. So I thought um, I might install the KDE version, make some changes and see what happens. So what I might do is, um, I might just explain what I did, but um, I'll show you the finished product because I did that off screen. Um, probably should have done it on screen, but I can show you the changes that I did and uh, what, what I used for those changes. I actually um, went to town a bit on um, changing quite a few things. Oh, May, yeah, some themes, the menu, the calendar, mainly those things, wallpaper as well. So let's have a look at what that result was. I've only, I've installed it, I've booted it once, and I haven't booted it again. I just booted it once to see whether the changes had taken place, which they had. So I thought I'd share that finished uh, finished product with you. So let's have a, let's check it out. This is the one here, MX21 release candidate. Is that a one or I think it's an exclamation I'll put there instead of a one. <laughs> KDE, so let's start that up and check it out. MX21 wildflower. And then we have uh, the KDE boot splash screen now. And there's our login screen. And let's log into that and check out uh, what the result was. So this is only the second login for this uh, virtual machine for MX21 KDE. So the first login I did, I had a look and went, yep, checked out the menu, checked out the calendar, yep, that's all working, so I shut it down. So this is the second time I'm booting into this. Now what I did was I changed the wallpaper and that wallpaper was available out of the box in MX Linux. There it is there. Thought that was a nice wallpaper there. Haven't seen that wallpaper for MX Linux before. Quite a nice one. Not sure if that's a KDE one or whether it's available in XFCE as well. I'm not quite sure about that. So I pretty much left um, the icons the same down here. But what I've done is, let's just check out, let's go to KDE settings, system settings, plasma style. So what I've done is I went to get new plasma styles and did a search for Quoga. And as you'll see, the Quoga dark here is running. That's what's selected currently. And I just did a search for Quoga. I think in this one, you've got to press enter. The other ones you don't have to, but this one's a little bit strange. Not sure if it was this one or another one. So you got the Quoga Ubuntu, Quoga Ubuntu Dark, Manjaro, the Manjaro, Quoga Light, just 
see if I can find the one that I installed. And that's the one there, Quoga Plasma Theme. So that's the one I installed here. As you can see, there's an uninstall button there. And that changed the, um, the color of the, um, in the plasma style, changes the panel color and also the menu color. So what I've got is I've, I've um, installed two menus here and I'll show you how I did that. First of all, we'll go to application style and window decorations. And I also did a search for Quoga because I, I really like the Quoga theme at the moment. That's my favorite go-to theme is Quoga. So that one I didn't have to press enter, it just searched straight away. So that's the Quoga Aurora theme. It looks like that's the one I installed. That's the only one that's come up anyway. Is a flat design theme for KDE Plasma Desktop. So that's the one. So this Windows decoration, this is the one here that I installed, which is running along the top there. So that changes your Windows buttons and everything on the Windows title bar. So that's what that does. You've also got a couple more Quogas here, and um, this one is the circle one. So if we if we choose that one, you'll see that. No, it's not that one. Maybe it's this one. No, it's this one here. <laughs> it's one of them. I've got a I've got to select apply, don't I? I always forget about that in Plasma. So that one's a circle, as you can see. Um, and the Quoga dark. There is the square. There's a couple of squared ones. I don't know what this modified circle one is. I haven't tried that one. Maybe just slightly smaller in the uh, title bar there. I'm not sure. So anyway, let's just check that one. Okay. And there we go. Oh, actually, no, I wasn't finished with that, was I? <laughs> now, all I've done is change the Windows decorations and I think the plasma style, the wallpaper, the icons I had to change to Papyrus MX Blue Dark, otherwise these things here were not highlighted. So if I put it on, I think, um, I'm not sure what the default was, I think it's the MX Blue Dark Panes, I believe. Let's just apply that and you'll see what it looks like in the menu here. See how they're all dark? The system settings is fine, but the rest of them are fairly dark. So what I found was this one here is the one that actually uh, highlights these icons better in the, in the uh, menu. So that's what I've done there. I haven't added any icons because I normally use Papyrus anyway. This is just the, this one is MX Linux's Papyrus version. So what I've done is if you can, if you right click here and add widgets, I think that may add it directly to the panel. If you right click on the panel, I'm not really sure. Um, but if you add widgets there or you add widgets here, right click and add widgets, it all seems to be the same anyway. What I did was get new widgets and download with new widgets, download new plasma widgets. And what I did was a search for menu and I installed the menu 11 just to see what that looked like and also tiled menu, which is what I'm running now. So this, this is the tiled menu. Now I'll put a shortcut here for MX tools. I could put dolphin in there as well. Just drag that over there like so. Now you can show alternatives. I've got menu 11 there. I can switch that and menu 11 shows up in the middle. You can have a look at all apps and you can scroll through alphabetically, alphabetical order, power off button, system settings and file manager, user. Um, but I would prefer the tiled menu. I hope my changes are still there in the tiled menu. No, they're not. <laughs> So if you, if you ever change menu in Plasma, um, go to configure tiled menu and import or export 
this stuff here to a text file and that will and then you can just copy and paste it back into here and your anything that you've changed with this menu will be back in there so I haven't um, if we go to M L M MX tools MX tools there we go put that there and we can put dolphin as well so I only made simple changes just in case I did something silly like that. <laughs> and also um, I put the event calendar in here. So as you can see, these little blue areas here are my events like family birthdays and things like that. And they show up on the side here. Some of these aren't mine. Some of them are system ones but a lot of them are mine, anything marked in blue. So if we go to August, we have a lot of birthdays in August. <laughs> and there was a few things showing up in October as well. So how I achieved that is um, we right click and configure event calendar. And what I did was under Google Calendar, um, I added I added my Gmail, which is also dragged in my Hotmail um, information. So as you can see here, Google Calendar um, login, uh, you can log out. And um, this one here is my Hotmail account. It's strange how my Google account is picking up my Hotmail account. I don't know how that works. <laughs> and um, also, I added the weather as well, which is here. And you just put find city, it gives you a list and then you just click on the list um, that corresponds to your city. It adds this ID in, you're okay to go. That's the event calendar. A Little bit more complex than the standard calendar. Keeping in mind, all this was done in the live environment before install. So the only thing I haven't done, I don't think, is yes, I've still got a, a light theme here. Um, haven't changed that yet, because I normally like to run with the dark theme. So let's just quickly check that out. So uh, global theme, I'm not sure if MX Dark will match the Quoga theme at all. Well, see the global theme changes, yeah. So the global theme, what that does is changes the title bar, doesn't it? So I don't want to really do that. So yeah, I don't want to really be messing around with the global theme, do I? So Quoga Dark and Application Style, Window Decorations is Quoga Dark. And I suppose if we want anything here, we would have to change it within here, I think. Application style, colors. Uh, this is where I get confused with plasma. MX comfort dark, maybe I can do that color. Okay, so the colors change the color, not the global theme. Okay, that's where I get confused in plasma. It's a little bit different in um, in a GTK environment. So that doesn't, yeah, actually matches quite nicely anyway, I have to say. Yeah, so that was, um, that's my MX Linux live desktop changes on the KDE desktop. Um, have, haven't tried that before, so I thought I'd give that a go and uh, just thought I'd run you through the changes that I made. And that's actually worked a treat. So it's good to see KDE desktop changes works just as well as the XFCE does. Because there's no doubt that um, if you're running a live desktop, for example, MX Linux, whether it be the KDE or the XFCE, you might run it on the live desktop, make some changes, um, and you might say to yourself, I really do like this. Um, I like the way it runs. I like the way it looks. I like the changes I can make. I can make it my own and I wouldn't mind trying MX Linux. Well, during the install, I think it's just near the end of the install, you can click those live desktop changes and everything is done for you. And once you boot into the system, it's all there ready for, ready to go. 
even if you installed applications as well, they will still be there. So that's a, a, a real good uh, advantage of MX Linux installation. So that's just a quick one for you there. MX Linux 21 Release Candidate 1 KDE Live Desktop Changes. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it interesting and informative. And thanks for watching.